kind of in a pissed off mood. So if you don't like that, then change the channel. Anyway, today we have the Isco 42 quart cooler, which I ordered on February 8th. And today's the 15th and it was just dropped off by FedEx. So here is the cooler. I can show you that I got it on eBay. 42 quart ice go. And it has a uh, Danfoss compressor in it. And also, okay, I paid $430 for it. I think he wanted like 452 or something. And uh, so I just made it, we dickered back and forth. We ended up with 430. Then, of course, there was, yeah, there was uh, um, tax. It came to $455. Anyhow. Um, so we're going to unbox this now, <clears throat> as soon as I can manage it. Okay, let this move things around. And I think probably, if you can't go on the back, I don't want to cut the straps. If I can work the straps off of it, I'd rather do that because it's pretty convenient for shipping it back. I don't want to damage the box or anything. If I have to ship it back, I'll have the straps. You slide them back on there. It's a no-brainer. Alright. You just have to bear with me. Not that fast. Oh. Oh, uh. Yeah. Here we go. There's the straps. That's the way to do that. Um, do I have a knife? I don't think I need one. Well, well this thing's been open before, I think, or something. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, to make sure. See, I want to make sure you got a view of it. All a challenge here for me. Oh, okay. Now, the 42 quart ice cold cooler with the Dan Foss compressor. Yahoo! And I'm a van dweller. This is sort of like, you know, my other place, but I live in my van. Okay, it was supposed to be tan. And it's looks gray to me. And it's supposed to be tan. It was supposed to be tan. Hmm. Ah, wow. This thing is heavy. It weighs about 50 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna have to set it on the floor. Or over here, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Nothing's ever that easy, is it? Okay. Plastic bag, mop it, down something. All right. There we have it. Ah. All right. Okay, I'll try to give you a, a better look at it. And so we got a. Uh, down, come on. How come that's not working? Yeah, uh, that's not what I want. Well, here we go. Yep, wrong direction. Okay, there. Oops. This way. There it is. There is the ice cold cooler. 52 quart Dan Foss. See if we can't get. A little look around the outside first. It seems pretty sweet. I think here at the end we've got 
there's the plug and got to take that off there the controls on off settings max eco up down sideways however you want to go okay uh, i think I, I got just the perfect spot i got a, I got a nice spot for this my band and so and the price wasn't that bad you know i priced a lot of coolers oh how sweet it is that seems awful sweet so far got a high water level thing in here if you can see that you can't i guess i gotta somehow get you a better i know you want to see the inside of it so well, let me see if i can do it yeah, okay this is the high water mark in english and in japanese i assume <laughs> Here we have a nice little interesting basket. Seems to be pretty well built. I think I like that. Okay, and we got now oh, what do we got? Near the manual. Anyway, I'll just pull stuff out of there. Now. Let me see. First we got um I want to see what the bottom of it looks like first. See how these attach? That seems to work really nicely. I like that. I like it so far. Wow. The compressor's at this end. It's the heavy end. And we got some information on the bottom. Here we have their drain plug. And I'm not really crazy about that. I would have sure preferred something I could have hooked a garden hose, a little section of hose, like a, maybe a laundry hose too. You know, that way I can just run the hose out of the van from like under the seat, the driver's seat, and out the door to drain it. Where now I don't know what kind of, you have to have something special. So that's, I knew that when I bought it. I didn't like that about it. But, I figured I could deal with it. And, and deal with it, I will. And now, also, oh, we got some goodies in here. I'm glad to see some of this, I think. All right. Okay. Here's the lighter plug. I guess it's okay, but I'm not nuts about it. It looks problematic to me. I, I don't know. You know, it might be better than it looks. Yeah. I'm, I, the jury's out on this, but I, I'm skeptical. All right. And this, I'm glad to see. Now, this thing didn't even tell me they were putting in there. I was hoping to see this. It's not even in the list of stuff that you get. But you can plug it right into the wall. Plug it right in. To this, which plugs into the cooler, which we'll do. We'll do that here after a bit. And let's see. Okay. Here it came with the... The top one dry. Desiccant. Now that's kind of a nice, nice thing to have. It seems, yeah, I can use that for something. And here we have another thing. Silica gel. I don't know what that's for. All right. A little bit of tape here. That was tape in the basket in place. We've got that. And, and now this cooler, according to the you can actually set it, like if you want to use it as a refrigerator, you can set it to be 32 and above to wherever you want to set it. Or if you want to set it, be, use it as a freezer, you can set it all the way down to zero. And uh, that that's something that I thought would work out good for me. Um, the compartment inside, i got to say, if you look at the compartment, you know... 
I guess it's okay. I mean, well, I knew it wasn't good. You know, I said, well, it's not real big. My, uh, I got, I got a cooler that's a lot like this. It's what I got at Walmart. It's Ozark, Ozark cooler. And, uh, it's the same size. The dimensions of the outside are pretty close to the same. And I like the, uh, I like the other one that, you know, because of what it's made out of. This is more plasticky. The other one has more of a, I don't know, rubbery feel to it. You see, it looks like she's got a pretty good seal around there. And I'm sure it'll be fine. But anyway, the size of the area where you can store your food. I'll actually have more room, considerably more room, to store my food in this than I did in the other one. Because I had to use ice in the other one. And uh, that took up a lot of space. Maybe I'll get that one out and put it at the end of the video. Um, after I put this in pack it away. I think I kind of like to fire it up. But I better read the directions first. We'll do that. And I see. Well, it probably says leave it set for a day or something or a few hours. Because I just got it. FedEx just dropped it up at the end of my driveway. And uh, oh, I just hate ripping stuff apart. See, how am I supposed to do this? Ha! Now, so you get this handy little manual, I guess, I don't know, uh, intended use. Uh, let's see, the appliances tend to be used in households and similar applications such as staff kitchen area in shops, hmm. offices and other working environments, farmhouses and, cl and by clients in hotels and other residential type environments. Bed and breakfast environments, catering and similar non-rental applications, camping, hunting, and other similar campaign. Now that's, you know, because I'm on a campaign. Uh, that's going to work out good for me. The features are, the features we have here, I don't know, I think I got to, I got to make an adjustment before I give you the, give you the features because my, my camera ain't quite right. Okay, let's see, where are we? Um, oops, okay, it's not way to let oh, oh, down, down, oh, darn it, oh, okay, I know we're looking at the ceiling now, bear with me, sorry about that, well, this keeps going higher, down, 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 come on, okay, now we gotta go up, <clears throat> around, um, okay, where am I here? It's a, it'll go up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there's the calendar. You can see that it's that it's uh, February 15th. There's my bobcat. I had one in my yard here not too long ago. Ringtail bobcat. Right out here in the yard. And I'll tell you what, you never see them up here in northern Michigan. Hardly ever. I think it was like the second or, yeah, just the second one I've ever seen in my life up. You know, third one. Third one. Okay. Anyway. Now. Now the, uh, there's my junkyard. All right. There's my van. That's the van. I, yep, I live in that van. There it is. You can sort of see it. That's where I live. And I live there summer and winter. You know, this is where I come in here. And I do a little bit of stuff in here. Like I'm pack a cooler and I cook in here. And there's a bathroom in here and all that stuff. But I live in the van. I sleep in my van. And really comfortable there. Okay, I'm all goofed up here. Come on around, I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, I guess that's as far as it goes. Yeah, it's got a gooseneck, and it only turn it'll only turn so far, you know. And I'm what I'm using here is uh, Osmo Pocket, Oops. connected to my iPhone. This is the iPhones in my hand. Come on, don't try me. What is it? I don't won't we'll go any farther. It's like, what's the deal? Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm almost there. Bear with me. Have some patience for once. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Now, 
Okay, I gotta raise it up a little bit just to get me in there. Yeah, I'm in there. Okay. Oh man. Yeah. Um the features are cooler and refrigerator in one machine. I saw you like, you know, the old time washer ringer. You had the washer. Then you had this ringer that you'd run your clothes through the ringer. And, uh, yeah, all in one machine. Yeah, when I was a kid, I actually uh, run, I was running this pencil through the ringer. I was only like five years old. So it was fun running the pencil through this ringer. My fingers. First, we got to get, get the focus. There we are. I don't know if you can see that well enough. I'm going to crank this down a little. Okay. That might help. I guess the video is going to be in two parts. I just stopped. All right. Um, I can prop up one end of it. I will. Oh, a little bit. No, I won't. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change the, going to change the settings. Just bear with me. I'll lower the, the camera down a little bit. Now, ah, hang in there. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> oh, device disconnected. Great. Why? Trying it. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit of brightness, a little too dark. Yeah, brighten it up. Oops, that's too light. A little more bright. <laughs> right there. Yeah, it's not working very good. Okay, anyway. Anyway, uh, I want to go through this, so we'll go through it together. You got the time, honey. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I guess what happens here is it all gets plugged in. So that's what I'm going to do. Going to plug it in. Okay. Yeah, I kind of. It's just yeah. I guess that's good. Nice little twelve. Nice little twelve volt power pack, I suppose. There is the info on it, if, if you can see that. Power pack info. We're going to take and plug 
plug this into it. <clears throat> and I'll plug that into the wall. Over here. Somewhere. Out of the way. Yeah, okay, I'm getting ready to plug it all in. <clears throat> so here we're going to put the plug in. And this stuff looks uh, a little on the cheap side to me. And yeah, see, it doesn't want to go in. There you go. Bang it in there. And yeah, then try to take it out. And it's like stuck. And it seems like, you know, that plastic part's going to break or something if you're not careful. So I got it plugged into the wall. I'm gonna bang, plug it in here. There, now where are we at? It said all eights here for a second. Then the control panel. Um, let's see, in the standby mode, which I guess is where we are, uh, long press the settings. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Oh, and, and up at the same time. So I guess this is up. All right. Now it says Fahrenheit. You got to do that for three seconds. Yeah. Let's see. Use the up to use the up or down to select Celsius or Fahrenheit. Aha. I'm going to do this over again. This is the up one. All right. Hold one, two. Three. Now it's on Fahrenheit, and that's what I want. I guess the yeah, I can mess with it. All right, so we got it on Fahrenheit. Doesn't give me much time. And let's see. After power on, the digital screen lights up for two seconds, and then displays normally. Power on. Power on. And on. Oh, well, nothing happened. After power on, the digital screen lights up for two seconds and then displays normally. Doesn't seem to be lighting up to me. I don't think it's doing any damn thing. Did I lose power? What the heck happened? Hi, right, now what? This is getting scary. After power. It doesn't seem. What do you mean after power on? Okay, I want to power on. Oh, there it goes. I hear a motor running. Um, what does the 28 mean? Well, she's not too loud. I can put up with that. That's that. That'll put me to sleep. A little bit of, little bit of whooshy noise in the background make me sleep like a baby. Okay. Now what? Key operation. In the standby status, short press the power button and it'll either enter work mode, which I did. You just hit it quick. and it's the, uh, Under operating conditions, short press the power button. The appliance enters the standby mode. Okay, so if you hit it again, she's in standby. Hit it again. And there. Now she's in power mode. All right. When it is the normal working state, press the up or down to adjust the temperature from zero Fahrenheit, which is minus 18 Celsius, uh, to 50 Fahrenheit, or plus 10 Celsius. Long press up or down to adjust the temperature, um, 5.4 Fahrenheit, Three Celsius per second. Okay, so it's set at twenty-eight, I guess. And I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it to thirty-two. I guess you got to long press it. What happened? All right, thirty-two degrees. 
So that's the goal. I want to get it to 32. And it's at, I guess it's at 28. Well, you know what? This thing's been sitting outside. It is pretty cold. So I will go down. I just brought it in. It was sitting outside. Uh, down. Now it's set to 23 degrees. It, there. It's starting up. It's at 28 in here now. So let's go to 27. 25, 27. So I want to drop one degree. Because it's at 28. The temperature inside the core is evidently 28 degrees now, Fahrenheit. I want to take it down to 27. So, and now so you got max. Then you got eco. I don't know. How do they work? It just, it shows a little light that it's on max. And, um, got to go back and, and let's see. Eco max function. When the appliance is running, short press, short press uh, the settings to adjust the economy modes. Bang, that's short press. That's settings, short press. All right, and then eco. Well, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Got me. When the appliance is running, short press the settings button. To adjust the eco max mode. Eco and max. Oh, there. Now it's on eco. Got it. Eco is green. Max is blue. So it's going back and forth. I just didn't see that. All right. Well, then. Hmm. Okay. Well, hi there. To finish up this review, I would like to compare between the cooler that I got from Walmart, which is an Ozark Trail, and I've had it for, I don't know, four or five years. I think it's a 55 quart. I'm pretty sure it is. And... The one I just got is a 42 quart. They're pretty close to the same size. They're just about the same. Same height for sure. And the one I had gotten from Walmart has has right. It came with uh, this one basket in it. And this, you might recognize as a dish basket that I got from Walmart. And I just flattened down the things that are supposed to hold the dishes in place. And it'll fit right in there perfectly. So you, you kind of have to keep the food in these two baskets because everything underneath it, you know, I put like 20 pounds of ice or whatever, as much ice as I could fit in there. And then there's a drain plug on the other side, which I had a hose hooked to, and I just put it outside the door of the van. And it worked pretty good. I was, you know, if you bundled it up really good, you might get, I could get, actually out in the desert, I was getting, in the wintertime, about five days um, before the ice was all gone. And then, what, you had another day. So it was, I don't know, it was five, four and a half to five and a half days. And then it was done, then you had to go get more ice. So that was the big downfall of this cooler. But actually, as, a, as a, the construction of it is really, well, it's, it's pretty close to the, I think it's actually the same type of molding process between the two. This one has just a little bit, maybe because it's dirty, it has a little bit more of a rough feel to it. And I just like the feel of this one better than this. But this isn't all bad. Now, I plugged this in, I guess, I'm going to say it was about an hour ago, and uh, it was at 28 degrees because it was sitting outside, and it's pretty cold here today. So, um, I brought it down to zero, which is as cold as it'll go. And, uh, yeah, that took about an hour to go from 28 to zero. 
So as far as this one goes, they have similar latches. These are nice. You you put these latches on it, and uh, it holds it closed pretty good. Same with this one. See, these are easier to use on the new cooler, the uh, 12 volt cooler. And so, um, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. It certainly is cold in here, and I look at the construction. I guess you got this white liner thing in here that gets really cold. I think it's just moldy plastic, and then they slip this in there that has the veins running through it, and the Freon goes around in there. And, oh, see? She just started. It says zero. I had it open, and she just started. And I'm going to latch the lids. I haven't been latching the lids down on it. But I'm going to start doing that. And I'm going to put it in the van here in a couple of minutes. i got a nice place in the van to put it. And I guess it would be kind of nice to see my smiling mug. Hey. Right. Okay. That wraps it up. Thank you. Uh, please give it a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to do my best to throw a bunch of videos up there and just share my life online and uh, document as much of everything as I can. Uh, thanks again. Bye.